Hi, my name's Rob. And I'm Alice, and we're scientists at Croda. Croda makes ingredients for a wide range of everyday products. You'll probably have used a Croda product today. On this Croda site, we develop products for personal care, including hair care and sun care. So why do we need sun creams? The sun is good for us, but at the same time, specific types of radiation produced by the sun can be damaging to our skin. The main type of damaging radiation is known as ultraviolet or UV radiation. UV radiation can cause not only burning of the skin, but also aging and is linked to skin cancer. Sun care products come in a variety of forms, from creams to lotions to sprays. Each sun care formulation contains a range of UV filters. These UV filters protect the skin from the UV radiation and they act in three main mechanisms to reflect, to scatter and to absorb the UV radiation. Titanium dioxide is a very good UV filter. Here we are making titanium dioxide particles of a known and defined particle size. After we've created the titanium dioxide particles, we will coat them and disperse them in an oil or a water carrier. These dispersions of particles will then be passed to Alice's team so she can formulate them into final formulation. So now that we've made the dispersion, we need to put it into a sun cream so that we can demonstrate it to our customers and we can test it further. Uh, a sun cream is an emulsion. An emulsion is where you have oil and you have water and you uh, stick them together with uh, an emulsifier, which is a type of surfactant. So the oil and the water don't really want to mix together, they want to separate into two layers. If we add the emulsifier, we can make droplets of the oil and make a stable cream. So to make an emulsion, first of all we take the oil phase, which has the oils and the emulsifier in, and then we add the dispersion. Then once we've got the oil phase and the dispersion mixed, then we add this to the water phase with stirring. Then once the oil phase and the water phase have been mixed, now we have our emulsion, we just need to give it an extra powerful mix to make the oil droplets nice and small. And now we have our finished sun lotion with nice small droplets uh, with the emulsifier holding the uh, oil and water phase together and with the dispersion there providing our protection. You'll have noticed on bottles of sun cream, it says the SPF, so SPF 15, SPF 30. SPF means the sun protection factor. It indicates how long you can stay out in the sun without burning. So if normally you could spend 10 minutes outside before you burnt, if you applied SPF 15 um, sun lotion on, on your skin, then you'd be able to stay out 15 times longer without burning. You'd be able to stay out for 150 minutes before you burned. To put the SPF on the label of a pack, you have to measure it in vivo. So that means measuring it on people uh, to see how much protection is offered from burning. Um, but we can do screening before we get to that stage by testing in vitro. So this means we test on plastic plates that have been roughened to mimic the skin's surface. And then we use um, an instrument to see how much light passes through the film. I like what I do because I can see what I've achieved at the end of the day. I can see that I've made some sun cream, I can put it on my arms, I can feel what it's like, I can smell it, I can look at it. I feel like I've done something, I've made something in that day.